Hi guys. So I don't normally do unboxing videos, but today I'm gonna do a double unboxing video because this is kind of a special case and I think it might help some of you guys out who are building uh, storage servers. All right, so what I've got in front of me today here is the, it's a Western Digital uh, USB 3.0 uh, 10 terabyte hard drive. Okay, it's an external hard drive. And in this case, it's uh, store labeled as Easy Store, and you can only buy this at Best Buy. And the reason why I'm putting this video out today is that there's actually a sale going on right now, and you can get this for about $180. And if you have a business account, you can actually get it for even uh, cheaper, about $161, I believe. And so this is actually a great deal, not just because, hey, it's a great external USB drive, but I'm gonna show you how you can fill up your NAS server with these things, okay? And so let's start, let's go ahead and start the unboxing. Uh, for this unboxing, you're gonna need a couple of tools. Th this is usually what I have. So a uh, regular Phillips number two screwdriver, a uh, cutting tool. You're gonna need a Torx 10 screwdriver and that's for the uh, second unboxing. You're gonna need two plastic cards of some sort. So, you know, if you're buying this from Best Buy, your reward zone card is actually great for this. And I've also got my, my Lowe's card here, but whatever card you have, it, just make sure it's, it's fairly rigid and uh, if you can find one that's fairly thin, like this uh, Best Buy Rewards Zone card, it's fairly thin, this actually works really great for this. Don't use a card that's too thick. Um, so anyway, you'll need two of these. And, and I like to have um, a little Ziploc bag and make sure you get one with no holes and I'll, and I'll explain why we need that in a little bit here, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, open this little guy up, okay? So this is really uh, a great deal if you if you look at the cost per terabyte. It's really a rocking deal, and you know Best Buy tends to have sales on these uh, around this time of year, from Black Friday to to the end of the year. All right, so here we have a Hello card. Okay, that's that's cool, and yeah, this particular one they didn't do this last year, but this year they're including. Um, a little USB 3.0 uh, drive. Now I've heard this isn't exactly the best USB flash drive out there, okay? But it's it's small. Um, uh, it's only 32 gigs, so it's it's you know it's not that useful if you're storing a lot of media. But guess what? This is awesome for a boot drive uh, for free NAS or um, you know Unraid or something like that, right? So uh, you know you can save a couple of these as backups or whatever for installing OS's and whatnot. It's not very fast, but, um, and it's not very large in capacity, but you know, it's useful for a few things. So this is kind of nice that they include this, uh, this, this year. All right, so here is the drive. Let me pull this out. Okay, get the, all right. So this is the 10 terabyte external USB drive. All right, let me put these things to the side. And what else do we have in here? Let's see. We've got uh, power supply, USB cable, and I think that's about it. And then your normal warranty card and, and stuff that nobody actually reads. All right, so your uh, USB 3.0 cable and uh, a little power adapter to power the USB drive. Okay, so by the, because this is actual spinning hard drive in here, you're not gonna be able to power it off just the USB plug. Um, so you definitely, uh, if you're gonna use it like this, you definitely going to need um, one of these things. So keep this around. Now, so that's the, that's the end of the unboxing. But what's really cool about this deal is that what's inside here is actually the equivalent of a a Hitachi Enterprise uh, helium filled uh, 10 terabyte hard drive. All right, or sometimes uh, I guess Western Digital these days labels them as the uh, 
the red NAS drive. So they're basically equivalent to that. It's, uh, it doesn't run at the 7200 RPM. This actually runs at the slower RPM, which is actually great because if you're building a NAS and you have a lot of hard drives, this actually runs cooler than the, the, uh, the enterprise, you know, the full Allen enterprise version. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to open this today. So this is the double, the second unboxing we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna show you how to open this without breaking anything, okay? So, and this is where the two uh, cards come really in handy, okay? So what I usually like to do here is start with the power adapter side and where the USB is, have this facing up, okay? I'm gonna work on this side first, and then we'll work on this side, and you'll see how this all just comes apart real easily. All right, so get your card and just kind of slide it in between here. Now, if you just kind of slide through it, you're gonna feel some resistance like right about there and right about there, okay? So there's basically what's going on is that there are little tabs in there that um, that's holding this enclosure to the outer casing. And so once you kind of know where those tabs are, so it's like right there and right there, put this card just kind of in between where those two tabs are, okay? Just like that, okay? And, and that's all you do. And don't pry on this, okay? Don't pry on it, okay? Because you'll end up breaking something. And I'll tell you in a, in a moment here why you don't want to break this, okay? All right, so just hold the card in there. And then use your thumbs, you know, you kind of have to hold on really tight to, to the sides with your, your, your fingers and then use your thumbs and just push back on this as hard as you can. You don't have to move it a lot. You just want to break that tab loose, okay, without breaking, actually breaking any plastic, okay? So I'm just going to push really hard. All right, you hear that click? Okay, now look at, look at the side. You'll see how there's a gap opened up right there. Okay, that's good. That's all you need. Don't go any further just yet. You just want to kind of... Uh, release that latch that's inside okay and now um, now notice one thing the tabs are not exactly like in the middle all right at least not on this side and that's why I like to start on this side so it's a little bit offset to the right here just now as you're sliding the card through you'll feel where those tabs are and just kind of put this right in between in the middle all right now let's work on the other side the other side here all right just the same thing but the tabs are kind of in a different location here. So I feel one like right about there and then one right about here. So this is even further offset. So I'm gonna try to put this again, just like the other side, just in between. All right, so that's, now I can't push the card in, into, the, into that gap uh, any further because it's, it's hitting the tab here and here, okay? So notice this is even further offset, okay? So the tabs are not really like symmetrically centered. Okay, so this is offset a little bit here. Now you're gonna do the same <clears throat> exact thing on this side. Again, just uh, hold onto the sides really firmly and then push hard on this without prying. I'm not doing any prying at all. Okay, just push really hard and you, you don't wanna go all the way off. You know, all we're trying to do is release the latch. All right, so, all right. So now you hear that click and now take a look right here. Now there's a gap right here as well, right? Okay, so now, now, now's the easy part. Now you just kind of, uh, kind of just continue pulling the whole part out. All right, there you go. Now the cards are no longer needed, and see what we have inside. All right, so this is a Western Digital uh, WD100 EMAZ with 256 megs of cache. It's a SATA drive. All right, so this is your 10 terabyte drive that you've just gotten for this deal uh, for either $180 or with a business account, $162. Um, you're not gonna find a deal for a 10 terabyte drive brand new that's uh, better than this, at least not uh, at today's pricing. So this is, uh, there you have it. Now, to take this out of the, the rest of the enclosure of this frame here, uh, usually what I do, I start with uh, getting this little light uh, thing that I guess that transmits the uh, activity LED. Okay, we'll put that aside. And you'll notice uh, this side has a gap. 
And so that's kind of where you're, you know, it'll pivot out. So just kind of pull it out that way. Now be careful, this PVC, uh, uh, PCB board here with the USB connector, it's kind of in this plastic. So you don't want to bend it too hard and break that. So just kind of leverage it out. And then I usually kind of just pull that and it'll release. Okay. And, and there you go. So now this is out and uh, the little rubber mount here got stuck in there. And we'll put that aside and put the rubber back over here. Now this is where you need your Phillips screwdriver. It's, there's one screw holding this uh, little logic board onto the hard drive uh, with the SATA connector and then you just slide this down. Okay, and then that's done. And earlier I had this little T10 uh, torque screw and that's for the mounting screws on the side here. All right, so these just come right off. Okay. All right, so there you have it. There is your 10 terabyte drive ready for use for you to plug into your NAS. And uh, at $180 or $161 with a business account, you can't beat this deal, okay? Now, why did I have this plastic uh, bag? Well, look. Now someday I'm gonna make a video about buying used enterprise hard drives and, and you know kind of general guidance about buying hard drives. And this is one of the best deals out there right now in terms of storage capacity and pricing. Um, bank kind of bang for your buck. But uh, whenever you buy brand new hard drives, there's actually a, a, a failure rate that's a little bit higher than say buying slightly used hard drives. And it's just uh, the nature of you know electronics manufacturing and defects. Uh, so I highly recommend that you test these out and I also at some point make a video and I'll show you how I burn in hard drives, but uh, you want to test these out. You know, there are various tools out there and I've written a tool that tests hard drives as well. Um, and I'll, I'll make a video about that someday, but you want to test these out because, uh, you know, they might uh, have be defective out of the factory or, or have some other issues. So you want to burn these in at least, you know, for maybe like 40 hours or, or longer. Um, before you start putting them in use. And now the reason why I tell you to have a little baggie around like this is, you know, you wanna save all these bits, okay? Because if this, if it turns out this drive isn't any good and it has a problem, you know, you'll, you'll want to return it or exchange it at the store. Well, you're not gonna be able to do that if you just kind of walk in with a bare drive like this, okay? So you're gonna need to be able to put all this together in its original condition. And that's also kind of why I wanted to do this video to you guys. I wanna show you how to open this thing without breaking it, okay? If you break this, then, you know, you might have a problem returning at the store, um, you know, but so long as, uh, you know, you, you do it the way I just described, you're not gonna break anything and just keep everything together so you can kind of basically put it back together uh, just the way it was uh, in case you do have problems, right? So I like to just put everything uh, in a little bag and that's why I said find a bag that doesn't have holes because there's, there's this little screw in here. You don't want that to kind of fall out. All right, so I, I'll just kind of store this like this and actually I like to just kind of keep everything together. So I'll put this back like this and uh, I won't press it all, all the way in just to kind of make it easy for me to open it up if I ever need to, but I'll just kind of um, press it down to, to uh, where the, the tabs are just before they engage. And so, you know, keep this around. You can put it in the box, you know, store the box somewhere with the adapters or whatever, or, you know, maybe someday you want to use it as an external USB drive. You know, you can, you can all put it together again. And you actually, you can put any other hard drive in here, any other SATA drive in here and use it as an external drive. And this is actually a, uh, a fairly fast USB 3.0 interface. So, um, so they're actually, you know, really nice, even just as a USB 3.0 drive. But uh, you can also buy these to fill up your NAS servers with 10 terabyte drives, okay? So hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this mainly, uh, there's no endorsement. I paid with all these hard drives with m with my own money, um, you know, and uh, so there's, you know, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm doing this mainly because I wanted to help uh, you guys out who, you know, if you're building your storage servers, your media servers, this is a really great deal on 10, 10 terabyte enterprise grade drives. 
And, and these actually run cooler than the enterprise version because of the lower RPM and, and draw less power too. So uh, really, really great deal, guys. And I hope this helps you out. And also, you know, uh, one, one last thing. These uh, have a two-year warranty. And that's also another reason to kind of keep all this together is in case, uh, you know, within the two years, if you have a problem, you throw this, throw the hard drive back in the case and then, you know, you can uh, have it exchanged under warranty. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you do put it back together and you need to exchange it for warranty, look at the serial number right here, okay? And make sure it matches up with the serial number on the case, okay? Because if, if you, especially if you buy multiples of these, you don't want to mix uh, the case serial number with the hard drive serial number. You want to make sure they match uh, when you return it. Okay, otherwise you, you, they might deny your warranty claim, okay? All right, so, um, oh, and about warranty, one last tip. A lot of credit cards offer extended warranty beyond the manufacturer warranty. So even though this is a, just a two-year warranty and, you know, if you actually pay the full price for one of these, uh, you know, 10-terabyte uh, drives, uh, usually it comes with a longer warranty. And so, you know, this is cheaper for a reason. Um, it's, first of all, it's put in this kind of external enclosure, so it's a, for a different segment of the market. And so they've kind of priced it according, according to, you know, their target market, but they've also reduced the warranty. Okay, so that's why it's cheaper, but, you know, it's still a great deal. And, but the, the tip I wanna tell you guys is that a lot of credit cards uh, offer an, a you know one year extended warranty beyond the manufacturer warranty. So if you buy this with your credit card, keep the receipts, okay? Because if after two years you have a problem with this, you can use your credit card's uh, extended warranty service to you know possibly get it reimbursed for a failed hard drive or whatnot. So um, so anyway, hopefully uh, all that information is useful to you. I don't know how long this sale is going on. I know it started today. And that's kind of why I don't usually do uh, this many, uh, you know, I released a video yesterday. I don't usually do another video that quickly, but uh, just because I'm a fairly busy person, but I really want to do this uh, to help you guys out, you know, and just because the sale is going on right now. And, uh, and again, this is not a sponsored video by Best Buy, but you know, Best Buy, you know, uh, give me a thumbs up here. Okay. Um, so anyway, yeah, go out there and get yourself the 10 terabyte drive for your NAS. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.